Hello everyone. This video is going to take a Western digital hard drive as an example to talk about how to swap the Western digital hard drive PCB board. This is the damaged PCB board. I'm going to make a basic analysis on the PCB board. It will help us to understand the PCB board and uh, understand what the problem is and so we can find out a solution to fix the problem. The first red box is the power connector. The second red box is the actuator contact. Actuator is the stuff inside the hard drive to control the hard drive disk head read write the disk. The third box is the main IC, also called CPU. The fourth is the RAM chip, used by the main chip. The fifth is the motor connector. The sixth is the motor IC. This small IC uh, drive the hard drive motor to spin then spin up the disks. I enlarged the burn part of the PCB board. As you can see, not only the chip, but the PCB board is burned as well. So, if we want to replace the burn chip to fix the PCB board, it will be very difficult. And uh, it is unlikely to be successful. So, we decide to replace the whole PCB board. But how to replace the whole PCB board? Where to find a donor PCB board? Uh, the topic for the rest of the video. This picture shows a very important chip on the PCB board. We call this chip as PCB board firmware IC. Uh, some people call this chip as uh, PCB board BIOS IC. This is a memory chip. It holds uh, all the information on the PCB board. The rest of this video, we are going to talk about how to uh, transfer this chip information from the bad PCB board to a good PCB board. So to do the BIOS transfer first, after that we can do the PCB board swap. How to find a compatible donor PCB board for a hard drive? First, we are going to locate the hard drive model number as a reference number to search for the PCB board. This picture shows the location of the PCB board for these model hard drives. Different brand name, different hard drive model number, different PCB board. The PCB board location are different. Some PCB board number on the edge of the board, some PCB board number in the middle of the board. Some PCB board number are even inside of the board. You have to take off the board, then you can see the board and read the board. Most of the PCB board number are very tiny. You need a magnifier to read it. If you want to know what is your hard drive PCB board number is, you may go to www.hdd-parts.com input the model number as a reference to search for a similar or same hard drive. There are a lot of pictures on the website to show you where to find out the PCB board number for your hard drive. And also, you can take a picture of your hard drive and the PCB board. Email the pictures to us. Our email address is hddparts at gmail.com Any question and where to find the PCB board number? What is about the compatibility of your 
PCB board, how to swap your PCB board, this kind of question are so welcome to email to us. We will email back immediately. We are going to use the hard drive model number and the PCB board number as reference to find a donor PCB board. First, we go to www.hdd-parts.com. In the search box, we input the model number of the hard drive and the PCB board number. Then we click on search. The correct donor board is found. PCB board firmware. PCB board firmware is the information data on the PCB board. It may be in the memory chip or in the main chip on the PCB board. For this model hard drive, we have to do the PCB board firmware transfer first, then we swap the PCB board. Otherwise, the new board will not work on the original hard drive. Why do we have to do the PCB board from a transfer? Because for this model hard drive, one PCB board includes two parts, hardware and firmware. The PCB board firmware includes hard drive's unique configuration data. The hard drive needs this unique configuration data to work. So, we have to transfer this unique configuration data from the original board to the donor board. Then the donor board can work on the original hard drive. Regarding the hard drive PCB board firmware transfer, we have three things to mention. First, PCB board firmware transfer is different from the hard drive firmware upgrade. The PCB board firmware transfer is to transfer the PCB board firmware from one board to another board. The hard drive firmware upgrade is to upgrade the hard drive's own firmware. It nothing to do with another hard drive or another PCB board. Second, we can do the PCB board firmware transfer from the physically damaged PCB board, like a burned, watered, or other kind of damage. Our PCB board firmware transfer success rate is more than 95%. Third, we do the PCB board firmware transfer for our clients for free. This picture illustrated the procedure of fixing a hard drive PCB board. First, the clients sent in their PCB board. Two, we fix the PCB board. Three, we ship back the PCB board to the clients. We receive many questions regarding the hard drive PCB board firmware, also called hard drive PCB board bias and the hard drive PCB board compatibility. So let's talk a little bit more about this in general. Some PCB board BIOS are in the independent memory chip, like the first picture shows. Some PCB board BIOS are integrated into the main IC, like the second picture shows. Most of the modern hard drive PCB boards need to do the BIOS transfer before swapping the PCB board. Even the donor boards are identical with the original boards in hardware. We have to transfer the BIOS from the original board to the donor board. Then the donor board can work on the original hard drive. The third picture shows some of these PCB boards. But there are some hard drive PCB boards do not need the BIOS transfer. As long as the donor boards are identical with the original boards, 
you can swap the boards directly. The fourth picture shows some of these kind of boards. If you have any questions, such as how to find a donor board, if your board need to do the bias transfer, where is the bias of your PCB board? How to swap your PCB board? Please go to www.hdd-parts.com to check it out. Or you may take pictures of your hard drive and the PCB board and email to us. We will give you the correct answer. Thank you so much for taking your precious time to watch my video. Any comments are really appreciated. If this video is a little bit of help, could you please click on like to support me? Thank you again. Bye.